the 90-90 bridge. That would be considered a progression. So the bridge means the hips are coming up higher. So you would use this when you're trying to add more intensity. You're trying to increase more hip extension because here in the 90-90 tilt, you're driving extension from a flex position. When you bridge people up, you're getting closer and closer to terminal hip extension. So you're gonna add more intensity. You're really looking for glutes on this one. So the way you would coach it would be the same. You just continue to tuck and continue to tuck until they reach either terminal hip extension, full hip extension, or as high uh, as possible without them rounding or arching their back, or arching their back. So you would cue it the same way. You're gonna start rolling your hips, roll, roll, and then keep rolling, keep rolling. Here, the cue, uh, think of one vertebrae at a time or peeling the hips, because what you don't want is for them to just extend. And then keep going, keep going, no abs at first. On this one, if their hips are higher than their rib cage, you are now using gravity to help push everything back up to the chest. So if you're trying to increase chest expansion, this is a really good exercise to do this. When someone bridges up, I usually tend to take pillows away because now you're bringing the rib cage closer to their chin. So most people who needed a pillow or 90-90 usually don't need one on the bridge. When someone does a bridge, once they're up there, then I cue them to push into their heels a little bit. That should give you a little more glutes. Good, so once they have glutes, breathing is the same. It's a breath in through their nose, get it all out. Deflate, deflate, deflate. If you had an issue with clients pooching their belly out or belly breathing, this might help if they're able to do this correctly because now you've opened up the low back to expand. Maybe that's what they needed to not uh, expand through their belly. Full breath out, keep going. There's a really good variation if maybe the client is not ready to squat or deadlift. And if they're not ready to squat and deadlift, that means they're very deconditioned. That means they're gonna be crushed with this variation. And rest.